Hi, this is Pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, what I want to talk about is discussing Zoloft versus Prozac using those for depression. It was a question I got recently, and it's, it's a good one because they're two of the most popular antidepressants. So I just want to go over and, and cover what I see as the main differences. So first of all, um, there's a lot of similarities between the two medications. First of all, they're both in the same drug class, which is SSRIs. They're selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So what that means is that when serotonin is circulating in your body, it can be taken back up by your body. Uh, so it actually lowers the level of serotonin in your body. Zoloft and Prozac, the drugs in the SSR class, block that process. The end result is that you're gonna get more serotonin in the system. Both Zoloft and Prozac do that. They're both in the same class. Now what we see, why is serotonin important in the aspect of depression? That's because serotonin is known as a mood booster. Um, now it has some downsides as well that aren't talked about very much. That is having more serotonin in your system. But from a depression standpoint, having serotonin in your system does act as a mood booster. Now. The other equal thing I would say about them is there's lots of history. Um, Prozac was approved like in 1987, Zoloft was approved in 1991, so they've been around for a long time. Uh, millions of people have taken it, lots of history behind their use. They're both dosed once a day. Uh, a normal dose of Prozac, you know, you'd start out at 10 milligrams a day, maybe go up to 20, some people 40. Uh, Zoloft, you can start as low as 25, go up to maybe 50 or 100 a day. So, but both dose once a day. Both are fairly low cost because they're available as generic now. Both are, <clears throat> excuse me, covered by insurance um, in almost all cases. Both are in the top 20 most prescribed drugs every year. Zoloft is a little higher than Prozac, but they're they're both prescribed a ton, covered by insurance, all those things. Now let's talk about the differences and let's start with side effects, okay? So I, I mentioned earlier that there are downsides to increasing the serotonin levels in your body and one of those downsides, remember, <clears throat> pardon me, most of your serotonin is produced in your gut, your GI tract. So if you increase the amount of serotonin that's in there, we do see GI side effects <clears throat> and we particularly see them with Zoloft. So my recommendation would be if, if you're somebody that has irritable bowel or ulcerative colitis or any sort of GI issue, I would probably lean away from Zoloft and go more towards Prozac. Now, the one downside with side effects of Prozac is that we can see more anxiety, um, <clears throat> which seems kind of strange, but it is something we see also rhinitis, which is basically like cold or runny nose, those sorts of things. So <clears throat> if, if you have, you know, allergy, something like that, I'd probably lean away from using Prozac. So those are some differences are the side effects. The other thing is a half-life. So when I say half-life, if we say a drug has a half-life of 12 hours, that means that if you stop taking it, half of the drug is out of your system within 12 hours. And a general rule of thumb is we say within four to five half-lives, the drug is out of your system. Where half-lives become important is when you decide to stop the medication where you and your doctor decide. I just did a video on this about withdrawal symptoms, withdrawing antidepressants. You don't want to do that fast. But the more important thing with half-lives is the shorter the half-life the more concerns we have about withdrawal symptoms when you and your doctor decide to stop it. Zoloft's half-life is a little shorter than Prozac, so in the end result, it's not a huge deal, but it is a difference worth considering when the time comes for you and your doctor to decide to stop it. So, all in all, I would say there's a ton of similarities between them. It, a lot of times it will come down to personal preference, your doctor's preference. But some differences, and I think the most important ones for depression are the side effect profile. Again, if you have GI side effects, I'd lean more towards Prozac rather than Zoloft. If you struggle with anxiety, um, allergies, 
I'd stay away from Prozac, go, go more towards Zoloft. So um, I hope this video was valuable. Hope it was helpful. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. That's really helpful. And until the next video, uh, I'll see you. Thanks.